Harden, shot clock winding down. Harden has to get it up, oh, wow. and ball was all over. What defense. Again, and we, we talk about him. I mean, he just, and he's going up against a bigger guy that probably outweighs him by 40 pounds. Trevich has made two good defensive plays in a row. Ball for Caruso, triple double, and the Caruso jam. Caruso show, and, uh, and Lonzo Ball with the lob. Irving. Spin. Irving. Oh, he's a machine. And hey, Richard, this is exactly what you're talking about. I mean, the you know, we have a goal at, at the end of the season that we want to accomplish, and we want to be one of those teams that's playing uh, for a championship trophy. So, What's going on, people? It's Flight Sports TV. I appreciate y'all for checking with me. Uh, I got a nice topic for the people right now. I want to bring attention to the people because there's a lot going on in the Eastern Conference. There's a lot. It's, it's, it's kind of an influx part of me. Um, you, you know, you got Kyrie Irving coming back. There's a lot of heavy weights. You know, you got the, M the defending NBA champions, the Milwaukee Bucks. Somehow we forgot all about those guys. Uh, we're going to get into everything. But right now, I really want to focus on something specific. I want to talk about Kyrie Irving from the Brooklyn Nets because I don't think we are taking this as – I think we are, but we're not really – emphasizing as much as we need to the bottom line is this Lonzo Ball and Alex Caruso is the key to the Chicago Bulls making it to the NBA finals and they will play pay dividends you understand part of me these two players will pay dividends and they and I'm they have to slow down Kyrie Irving now the question is can they but that's the only way they get through the Brooklyn Nets because you are not going to beat the, you are not going to beat Brooklyn if you're letting Kyrie do whatever the hell he wants to do. We're going to get into everything, but before we do that, I need everybody to hit that like button and most definitely hit that subscribe button. It's Flight Sports TV. I uh, appreciate everybody that's rocking with the channel, man. Everybody hit this like button. You already know what it is. All the like buttons, you know, everybody that's rocking with me. Um, let's get in the comments section. Let's chat. Let's politics support. You know, um, if you rock with Flight Sports TV, we definitely rocking with you. You support the channel, the channel supports you. You already know what it is. We're going to be live. We're going live. Hornets, you already know them Hornets about to show out. Um, it's going down this Flight Sports. Um, let's not waste a whole lot of time. We got two teams, two Eastern Conference heavyweights fighting for the same cause you understand you got superstars on one side you got superstars on the other side you got an nba champions on the other on one side you got one team that got aspirations for for an nba championship you got one coach who don't know much shit about the nba steve not not gonna know he don't know shit about the nba steve nash he's kind of like this is his second year, a second merry-go-round. But I think Billy Donovan might be a little bit more seasoned. You know, I'm going to tell you a, a lot, but what's really going to be the key, because what happens is when you got these kind of superstars and these high-quality players on the floor, it don't come down to coaching, you know. Sometimes it comes down to what the hell is going on on the floor. You know, this, this battle will be won on the floor. And in order for them to do this, Lonzo Ball and Caruso have to – um defend the hell out of Kyrie Irving. You cannot allow, you cannot allow this man to just pick this team apart. You know, um because you got to understand something about the Brooklyn Nets. They're dealing with a situation we all know with Kyrie not able to play. They may have ulterior motives. It might not be in their best interest to secure the number one seed in the Eastern Conference. It might it's smarter for them to drop it to Chicago so you have that seven game series with with a full roster. It might not bode well for them to have the best record. They might drop a couple spots. Brooklyn right now, I think I don't know. I'm not saying that they're gonna go out there and throw games, but I don't think the number one seed in the East is top priority. You know, that's why I'm with the assumption that Chicago is going to grab this number one seed. You could book it. I, I, you heard it in first at Flight Sports. Just due to the Kyrie dynamic now, that's serious. Because why in the hell would you want to have a game seven with no Kyrie Irving? You have to think about this if you're Brooklyn. You know, so 
it's going to be interesting to see. Lonzo Ball also has to make Kyrie Irving work on the offense on the on, on the offensive end for Lonzo. He has to be a scorer against Kyrie Irving. You know, um, it's going to be a combination of the two. And that's one of that's why I'm combining Lonzo and Caruso because Lonzo, you cannot just say Lonzo go out there and shut Kyrie down. Is your is, is your objective? you know, do your thing. No, this is going to be a collaborative effort in order to stop a player of this magnitude. So it's going to be, but so right now Caruso is in protocol. These guys are playing um, later on this week coming up, approaching. But I don't believe this is not going to be like, even like Kyrie just getting back, This will, that would have been like his third game. You know, so he's not going to fully be there, even though he may be look good numbers wise. He still has got to get himself situated. The Bulls were dealing with injuries protocol. We don't know who the hell will be on the floor, you know. Um, so this will be a great test. But I'm telling you, the battle will be won between these two teams. I'm predicting that these teams will meet in the Eastern Conference Finals for, for it all. Um, and. What's going to happen is I believe Chicago is going to get like an easy go around the first round. The second round, I think, is going to intensify. But you only play that one crazy series. So because I think the first series, they might sweep. Round one, they're going to sweep. Second round, it could be against Miami, Milwaukee, Philly. It could be any of those teams. So I, I think that's where things could get problematic, where you have a dog fight of the series, maybe go down to six or seven. And then you go against Brooklyn. And I think with the Kyrie dynamic, him not going home away, the Bulls will steal a game or two up there. It's going to come down to Caruso and Lonzo. They're going to have to almost recreate. I'm not going to combine this to a situation where happened to Damian Lillard and to CJ McCollum, but they're going to have to get some type of collaborative effort in terms of stopping this guy, win the trap, and things have to be strategic. And when you put guard in a guy like this, you can't give him the same look every time because he'll kill you. You got to give Irvin 67 different looks. You understand? It just is how it is. It just has to be. Um, this is going to be a showdown. But remember, you heard it here first. Now, the question is, I'm asking you and all the people, can it be done? Can Kyrie, I'm not saying Lonzo and Caruso shut their ass down. I, you have to slow this shit down. You cannot have all three of these guys gunning for 30 points on you like this. You cannot have it. You know, or the, I believe that Brooklyn is going to have, is going to take somebody out of this series for Chicago. Chicago must do the same. You know, Chicago's deadly. And the way the Bulls are playing at the shooting, uh, at, at the way they're shooting, you're not going to be able to just double guys because they're going to kill you. You know, um, that matchup with Lonzo and Kyrie is going to be a lot more interesting than people expect because Lonzo Ball can defend. You know, obviously, I think he can defend single coverage and spurts, not all night long, you know, but he's going to have to need some help. And then another thing with Kyrie, you got Vooch down there. Kyrie is one of the best finishing guards in, a, in the history of the NBA, left hand, right hand. We the, we all know what this man possesses. The man is deadly. He's all world, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and like I said, the, they, they, they have the same goal as the Chicago Bulls. You know, uh, I doubt Zach Levine is going to do any much on him. Maybe not DeRozan. They'll have their hands full somewhere else. Pause. But then you got a situation with Caruso and Lonzo. They got to take up this challenge. They have to step up to the plate and shut Kyrie Irving down as best they can in order to get the Chicago Bulls to the NBA Finals. Because if you slow down Kyrie Irving, the Bulls get to the Finals. I'm telling you, it's too much working in their favor. The Bulls are the hottest team in the league. Kyrie Irving, in and out the lineup, you understand, we we all know when things get tough Ky for for Kevin Durant and James Harden they they can crumble, you know these players are looking for the decks to be stacked in order to win. You put Kevin Durant in a showdown, you can beat him. You know Kevin Durant only excels when the, when the deck is stacked. You understand when it's just you versus Imano Imano, Kevin Durant can be beaten and he can be had, and I'm telling you is on the silver platter for the Chicago Bulls. Lonzo Ball and Alex Caruso must step up to the plate and do this job and annihilate the Brooklyn Nets and get the Chicago Bulls to their ultimate goal at the end of the season because they both ain't going to get to that ultimate goal 
And this, they're clearly the two top teams in the East. So only time will tell. It's Flight Sports TV. Everybody hit that like button. The most definitely hit that subscribe button. We're going to pick this up because this thing got so many layers. It's like, this is this, this heavy. You understand? Pause. We're getting right back with the people. Shout out to everybody. Love.